Hunt Magpie! And welcome to my official video for Flickr! So in this video, I'm of course going to go through all of the controls for Flickr and we're gonna talk about what Flickr is and talk a bit about how it works, what's going on and I'm going to show you some quirks and yeah, it's gonna be a whole lot of content in this video. However, I wanna say first that there's a link in the description if you wish to pick up one of these for yourself. So magpiepedals.com is where you can find one. So help me make sounds now in the beginning when showing the controls, I'm going to have an arpeggiator. So that just makes my life so much easier because I can be very hands on. But then, of course, I'm going to also play guitar and my friend Bassmaster Andreas also came over and he played guitar and bass through it and that was his first time trying it out so that's that's really fun to include in this video but the controls first of all we have a bypass button so you can turn it on you can turn it off but Flickr uses the triple bypass system that I developed with analog weapon where you have three different modes for turning Flickr on and off so we have the regular mode turning on turning off but if you press and hold, it will stay on for as long as you hold. And then go off when you release it. Or if you do it the other way around. So it stays off for however long you hold it. And it's back to being on. And then lastly, there's the tap tempo bypass. Where it will turn itself on and off in whichever tempo you decide to tap. So to enter it, you just double tap really quickly and then to exit, you hold. And we're back to being on. Oh yeah, what the flicker is, is a PT2399 delay where the time parameter is controlled by one of these flickering LEDs. So there's one of these on the inside also, which is a really peculiar idea. You can get this, this really, really strange, random vibrato movements. You know? We have a mix knob, we have a feedback knob, we have a time knob. So traditional delay controls. But together with this knob, that is a little light bulb knob, together with the time knob, sets how, like how strongly it will affect the time parameter. So it can be quite subtle, but it can also be really weird. So you can really hear how it, like at all times, it's going Which is really, really cool in my opinion Because it's so uncontrollable <laughs> But by simply working with depth of this control You're able to, yeah, do all kinds of stuff even with how simple it is. And yeah, I also want to show you that it, when you st like start going max with this one, and this is where it becomes kind of kind of strange. So if we go max now on the light bulb one, You, you start hearing a B, because I put a B in it. <laughs> no, but it, it, it's, it's the LED, like it's noise from the LED on the inside, which is really peculiar. And like what's even quirkier is that it's like different based on what you input. This Because if I go through a pedal... Then it disappears. So it's very dependent on what you input. You 
can still have it if you start go if you go max. Maxing that one is for not for the faint of heart, I would say. But um, I want to show you like it can be very very vibrato. That's nice. Of course, we can go wilder. More. I really want to show those. Like, you can go <laughs> ridiculous. You can sound ridiculous with it if you want to. and find like a yeah, basically like a voice or something to 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 make it do a thing <laughs>
guy. I tend to end these videos with uh, showing you the inside of everything that I have done. So this is how Flickr looks on the inside. And I also want to say that me and Analog Weapon, who is my co-host for the Almost Viral podcast, which is also linked in the description, intend to do uh, podcast episodes talking about everything that has to do with this new magpie paddles paddles in a more elaborate and conversational manner because i think that can be really really fun uh, but for now i just want to show you how it looks and talk a little bit about that so as you can see underneath these molex cables over here we have everything that has to do with the pt2399 delay going on and then we also have a Vactrol over here, which also just has one of these flickering LEDs in it. And that's pretty much it, you know? That's how glorious of a simplistic design Flickr actually is. But I can say that the bypass is also happening all thanks to this uh, relay switch over there that is just naturally connecting from one jack through the relay to another jack. So whenever it doesn't have power, it's just bypassing the signal. <laughs> but then when you plug in power with the help of this little microcontroller over here, that analog weapon, I don't know if I said, I don't know if I said how much he has helped me. He has helped me a lot <laughs> with these new pedals. So there's code on this little microcontroller that lets you do shenanigans with the button. So that's why you can do stuff such as the triple bypass and hold and stuff like that. You can also have a bit of a listen because it sounds so nice. But yeah, that's all thanks to Analog Weapon. And other than that, Flickr is extremely straightforward, but it's a lot of fun nonetheless. I put all the components in this very organized way uh, so it's easier for me to build it since I am the one who has to put every single component in place and then solder it. So I just mark the entire PCB with what I need to do. However, I do intend to record myself building a unit out of each and every single Magpie Pedals pedal. So if you want to have an even better understanding of what actually goes into building one and putting all of the stuff in place. As far as design and stuff like that i think we're gonna touch more on that in a podcast because it's nice to have someone to talk to uh, when doing such word combinations so thank you very much for watching and thank you 3000 if you pick one up for yourself to play around with uh, it would break my heart in a positive way so, uh, yeah, smell you later.